Hey Libra, welcome to your July weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, like I always say, please keep in mind energy is interchangeable. Okay, it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone. I, just, I am reading for a lot of people. So take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? Libra, the message I got for you uh, was definitely... Some angel numbers appearing for you this week that are going to be very important and crucial uh, to which decisions you, uh, you should make and uh, things to think about, okay? Um, some angel numbers I got were 333, three, three, the 222. Two, two. I also got um, 1144 and 1155 especially. Oh, and I, okay, so I just heard. Uh, one one one. So look out for those or any new angel numbers you do receive. Okay. Last one got the notification. Okay. All right. Let's get started here. All right. So the first cards you got were give your relationship a chance with make the effort. I feel like right here. Um, there's something that's being held back. Somebody needs to express themselves, but by releasing something, okay? Some sort of knowledge, some sort of way of thinking here. With this, we got true love. This is a divine connection, destiny, and summer growth, okay? Definitely the summertime is a time for things to be, uh, to start moving, okay? Growing and um some seeds that were planted here possibly in the past uh, are coming to fruition here in the summer, okay? So there's a lot of like uh, flags, I like to call them uh, white flags, that are going to be presented to you that you really need to watch out for uh, in regards to things moving this week, okay? Oops, what did I just do? Overall energy, sorry. <laughs> Sun card. So this is, again, right, uh, I mean, receiving messages of enlightenment, clarity, right? This is about positivity all around. Again, the sun could be dealing with a Leo. We do have um, the sun here twice. I see the sun going down. So um, I also see two people that are really trying to figure something out here, but on their own. I don't think uh, things have been expressed on uh, which direction things are heading, uh, if that makes sense. So we have the Star card, Nine of Swords, and the Lover's card. So this week you kind of are in this, uh, this energy of having anxiety and worrying, okay, about where the situation's headed, okay? Not really knowing for sure uh, what you, what you, where you want it to go even, okay? But with the star card, it's kind of like things are being, are unattainable. Uh, too far out of your reach, you feel. World card, yeah. It's just, you could, either could be a uh, distance, okay? That this person is at a distance. Doesn't have to be. Or that it's just, um... There are things, uh, blockages that are happening that is stopping this from actually happening in the 3D, okay? Tell about this world card wheel. Big things are happening this week for all air signs. We have three major arcana, star, the world, and wheel of fortune. Although you don't see it yet this week, things are turning in your favor. Things are about uh, to turn around from this situation I feel like there's a decision that you know needs to be made, and it's kind of stressing you out. Tell me the Nine of Swords. Hermit, yeah. There could be a distance, or there could be no communication right now uh, with the Hermit card. Possibly just people taking a time out, I'm seeing. Tell me the Lover's card. Magician. This is like, this is the energy of this person is the one. You feel they are the one. You feel... Like they are uh, everything to you, but there's some things that need to be talked about. Uh, let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. King of Wands, King of Swords, 
Ten of Wands. So there's things that are impending on this person too. They know uh, they need to take action, okay? Um, they got a lot of things going on here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Judgments, yeah. Decisions be, need to be made here. Judgments, Nine of Cups. In regards to their happiness, okay? Uh, they're viewing you as, as their Nine of Cups, um, their wish fulfillment here. And you are as well with the star card, right? You you guys are feeling like you're being drawn towards each other this week with possibly uh, without even speaking to each other, okay? You just feel this intense energy of being drawn to each other. King of Wands, Justice, Seven of Wands. Protecting what is theirs. So they really are protecting what is theirs in regards to you and... Um, what is fair for you, too? Tell me about this King of Swords. Seven of Cups. Yeah, trying to th stay, keep a level head. Not trying to um, invade their thoughts with any what ifs or what's happening. Trying to keep a, a clear mind about things. Think logically about this. Okay, let's see what the challenge is. We have Queen of Wands, the Moon, and the Eight of Cups. Somebody needs to leave a situation or leave something behind. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Fool. They need to make a clean break of it, whatever is going on, whether it be... I mean, this can very well even be down to addictions or um, uh, things that are controlling their life at the very moment. doesn't have to even be like a third per party it can be very much because we have the king of wands, queen, queen of wands. So this person could be married, but not everyone's going to be in the same situation. So what I'm seeing here is um, this could be just things that have bogged down their life in order to maintain a relationship with you. Okay. Tell me about the moon card. Five of wands. Yeah, they're... Five of Wands, Eight of Wands. So what's blocking this is that there could also be some people in the mix. I have to say this. Um, outside influences as well uh, that kind of come out of nowhere and express themselves on uh, either impending more responsibility on this person, not allowing them to freely come and go as they please in regards to you but also could be people causing drama or conflict in the situation, which if, if that's you, you know how it pertains to your situation. Tell me the Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to be free and independent, so they could have another person. Doesn't have to be, though, however it fits. Uh, but... This, if it's not a person, it's definitely about releasing a uh, burden or responsibility. Something that uh, is taking their time away from you, okay? Uh, that they, they're not really happy about at all. And they've kind of let it go for a while, not making a decision here in the Two of Swords. But with the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, it's really about them wanting now to be very independent. This is like a very magical week I'm seeing for the air signs. Which is, which is great. Come up the full card. Five of Cups, yeah. There's a fear here of also the other person, if they leave, um, if they leave the other uh, person, if they're with in a third party, or if they leave something that is blocking this, or say they have to get rid of friends that are possibly in the mix, however it fits. Um, there's a fear of um, losing that because of what they what it was to them, what it meant for them to be successful. They kind of looked at it as their success of where they're at at this point in their life. Um, I'm getting to this point, if that makes sense. So they they're they're really uh, looking at it as they don't. They don't want people to be mad and they don't want people to like cause drama or anything like that. Um, if they decide to make be happy and choose to do this, um, 
there's fear of losing possibly money, fear of losing uh, friendships, fear of losing other things. So let's see what happened in the past here. Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah. A very unhappy environment. Okay. Um, very upset they couldn't get what they want. Very upset on your side. Uh, that there wasn't... Uh, you two couldn't come together and, and build your own life together. Okay. Is what I'm really seeing here. But there's a struggle here in regards to people. Uh, for a lot of you, uh, people that kind of got in the mix of this situation. But with this being the overall the sun card, I'm really seeing that um, you two see right there uh, are looking at it in a different way, right? And I almost get the sense of because it's uh, two young kids, maybe your relationship or how you guys went about communicating uh, was very fun, uh, lighthearted, felt like a kid around them, really got you looking at things in a new light. Uh, especially for them, I, I really feel like you got them to see the, see the world in a different way. See the, that's really what I'm picking up is that you, you enlightened them in every aspect of their life and what, like seeing things through a different, uh, lens, right? Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take to sweep the sea. Everyone's hitting rock bottom. Strength, ten of swords. It's like for the air signs, enough is enough. Uh, the people you're dealing with are just like, they're so mesmerized by you. They're very like... Um, they're so in awe of you is like what I'm seeing. And to be without you hurts so much that if this has been a cycle that's gone on for a while, um, it's just become so overwhelming to not be with you or be able to uh, engage with you the way they want to. Um, it's been just too much. They don't want to deal with it anymore. Tell the emperor. Two of Wands. Tell me the Two of Wands. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Whatever is keeping them bound in whatever the blockage is, you know how it pertains to you. Um, whatever is keeping them trapped is really, they're making a decision to like, I'm done with that. I'm going to, I'm going to be in control of my own life. Strength, Ten of Swords. Kind of like last chance, right? I only live once is what I'm hearing here. Uh, I only live once and uh, that's, I want to be happy. I want to enjoy, even if it, even if it doesn't end up how I want it to, I want to, I want to enjoy my life here. Tell me this kind of swords. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Queen of Cups, five of Pentacles. I mean, they miss you every day. This is them longing for you and thinking about you. You're always in their feelings, in their heart space, just always wondering even what are they doing? Queen of Cups goes back and forth, you know. Are they thinking about me? Do they even care about me? Is the more time we spend apart, is this going to be less or the less the more time we don't talk, you know, less time we talk to each other? Is this going to change this, how this person feels about me? Because I'm feeling now more intense. They are feeling very much like they miss you so much every day that it's becoming um, so overwhelming. Almost like they, it's like they can't breathe, you know, is the sense I'm getting here. Uh, Ten of Swords strength card. Tell me the strength card here. Five of Swords hangman, yeah. They've had to do what they've had to do in order to keep you in their life. So they've had to make decisions that weren't the best for you uh, because, you know, they had to keep you and whatever else was going or what things going on in their life that were hindering, okay? Wasn't the best decision, but um, <clears throat> they are seeing things from a different perspective now with the hangman, right? They're done with kind of playing that 
side of it and going, you know, I know this is it's probably going to piss them off a couple days or they're going to be upset if I don't talk to them for a couple days, but that's okay. Uh, I will come back and I will get them, you know, okay with me again. And I will be, that's the five of swords uh, in this sense of, you know, mental thinking. Um, when it all costs, even though you may be stressed out for a couple days or not, or wondering or whatever it is, okay? Okay, Libra. I am going to leave it there. Uh, if you are interested, if this is resonating with you, I'm offering extended reading. I'll put it in the description box down below. And we're going to go over where the situation is headed, the future actions of this person, the outcome. Okay, get some details here. Because it looks like they're starting to make some uh, cutthroat moves in their life, okay? Um, if not, if this is your last stop, uh, thank you so much. It's been an honor and a pleasure to read for you guys. I love you. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye.